So here at the Embedded World, and uh, hi, so who are you? Hi, my name is Graham Clark. Welcome to our stand at Embedded World. What I'd like to do now is show you a little bit about our SOTB technology, which allows us to make ARM core devices with incredibly low power consumption. So SOTB, what does it stand for? So SOTB is silicon on thin buried oxide. This is a new process technology that allows us to make devices with power consumptions as low as 20 microamps per megahertz and leakage as low as 150 nanoamps. And these new ARM core devices allow us to develop energy harvesting applications that can provide solutions to applications that before were not possible. So down to 150 nanoamps. 150 nanoamps. Per hertz. 150 nanoamps is the leakage. So, so that's the, low the lowest in the industry or what? It's one of the lowest in the industry. There's not much lower, especially for complex Cortex devices. Uh, and are you launching together with a chip now or? So we have the first device available uh, now in sample quantity. Can we check over here? So uh, does it show the device? Is this the device? Yeah. Here's an example of the device. This is a device available in the chip scale package. Also we have the device here is about four millimeters square. We also have the device available in standard QFP package as well. So what is this, an ARM Cor a Cortex M0 Plus or something? It's an M0 Plus with 1.5 megabytes of flash and 256 kilobytes of SRAM. And it's so small uh, people can swallow it and not get sick? No, it's not that small. <laughs> but, uh, it's pretty small. But what else does it have on the chip? So is, it, is that information here? That's a different device? The device yeah. is aimed at uh, wearable applications. So Denisa is wearing a bra, both bra made of smart material. Hi. Hi, who are you? Hi, I'm Denisa, nice to meet you. And uh, you're wearing the device right here? In my sports bra, exactly. That is doing what? It's measuring, you can see over here, my uh, heartbeat, and here you can see the cardiogram. So it's measuring the heartbeat, and what's it powered with? It's powered with this solar panel over here. Just a little bit of light. Just from the light in the show. This is indoor light. It's indoor not light. Very strong as, as not very strong. Light. And this and is enough? It's enough. There's no battery. So we can power it from the solar cell and we generate enough power to measure the heart rate, take the ECG, drive the display, and send the data to a tablet. And so what is this? What is uh, the architecture on that chip? So this is the same device. This is the Cortex M0 Plus yeah. with 1.5 megabyte of flash and 256 k of SRAM. What software can it run? Uh, well, it's an ARM Cortex device. So here it's running custom software from Renesas, but it can run any of the standard Cortex software. Like as uh, could be Zephyr. Whatever you like. Yeah. And uh, is this just launched now, or? So this device has just been announced now. So this is a technology announcement, and samples will be available in the summer with mass production at the end of the year. And so there's a lot of potential here, right? Uh, what is this, a wearable? For wearable applications, for smart sensor applications. Many people want to create applications that are maintenance free with no battery, and you, the ability to harvest energy from the environment makes all sorts of applications possible. And uh, what's a, do you talk about the nanometers in terms of a manufacturing process or? Yeah, so these devices are currently manufactured on a 65 nanometer process. And there will be a family of them or? There'll be a family, this is the first device. We're introducing devices in the future for smart sensor, also devices with integrated radio as well. And has Renaissance been doing this kind of stuff like this before, or this is like a new this thing? This is something completely new. So it energy harvesting new. is a new area for us. And so it could potentially be uh, harvested by the steps, or it could be harvested yeah. by the heat differentiation? We're working or? with companies now who are harvesting energy from body heat. We're working with companies who are harvesting energy from movement, from vibration, from uh, RF signal that's available in, in, uh, all around us. So many and, different people. And 5G is going to do a lot of RF everywhere. <laughs> Maybe that would be good to, be a lot to of harness energy. this, right? Yeah, it could be. Maybe potentially. And, uh, and put this uh, to help to make trillions of IoT devices. The That's whole idea way. is to make IoT devices and make them without battery and without any power supply. 